So my research interests centre around what's known as the protein folding problem. Now, proteins are complex biological molecules that basically do everything in our bodies. So we're interested in how the chemistry, those long polymer chains, folds up to determine the three-dimensional folded functional protein structure and that's called the protein folding problem. To study the protein folding problem we do something called protein design and that's where we take a chemical or even an engineering approach to looking at these biological molecules. So what we do is we look at how natural proteins use their chemistry to fold up into these three-dimensional shapes and then we try and understand that chemistry to build proteins from scratch. So we do this in two ways. If we think we understand the protein structures well enough, we just write down protein structures on pieces of paper and then we go into the lab and make them. But actually protein molecules are quite complicated, so increasingly we're using computers to be able to help us with this problem of designing protein molecules. This is a protein structure that we've made in the lab. Biology doesn't seem to use this particular protein shape with a hole in the middle of it. Which is great because as chemists it means that we can put chemistry inside these protein structures to make them do new things. And the kind of things that we're interested in now are how you sense other molecules. So could we sense glucose in blood you know, to help with diabetics analysing their glucose levels? Things, th things like that. So that's the kind of stuff we're interested in. Can we design new protein molecules from scratch to do new and interesting things that biology doesn't actually do? We're trying to bring virtual reality into protein design. We're putting masks on people so they can step into an environment where they can manipulate a protein molecule that's in a computer, that's been simulated in a computer, but we can manipulate it with our hands rather than computers. It makes them more immersed in the science that we're trying to do.